Hallelujah. Come on, give the Lord a mighty clap in the house. Amen. 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 We are honored in the house to have one of our dear, dear, dear friends. And we've been getting closer each time we meet. Uh, interestingly, the first time, not really first time, but the first time we connected. Because I, I think we were together on campus. But the first time we really connected was in Nigeria, uh, in Kapanchan. And um, uh, he came to see me there. I saw him. I said, oh, we are all from Zambia. He had come with the team from Lusaka. We were from here. And we connected. From then, the work has been getting stronger and stronger and stronger. He's been here before, but not under the local church he's come under the uh, when Papa Kure was here and uh, his uh, Kitwe is his second home if he, he if it's not yet I've declared it to him now <laughs> amen Bishop Felix Mumbi um, is a man with a grace and a heart to for the kingdom that's what we love so much about him he knows his place. He's not a man who is there to, uh, you know, show that he's there. He can enter a meeting and sit behind and you won't know. And he'll go out. He comes to receive his portion. And he releases his heart as the Lord leads him. And he's, he's been traveling to various parts of Zambia with prophetic actions. He's part of the throne room board together with me and the Papa Kure. And uh, the, he came, they, there was a meeting this weekend for throne room and uh, I told him, I said, you can't go, you are going to stay. So he prepared to come and stay with us and is here for us at the local church. Amen. Amen. And uh, he's married with three children, three, if I'm not, five, five, five. One girl, I, I know there's one girl and four boys. Amen. And I want us to stand and give the Lord a clap as we invite the servant of God, Bishop Felix Mundi, all the way from Lusaka. Amen. 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 <laughs> Let's just clap for Jesus again. Amen. Wow. It's really an honor to be here. You may take your seats, thank you. I know this is a mentorship service, so I'm excited because uh, when you say mentoring, you have to teach. And uh, I just want to uh, thank uh, our senior pastor, our overseer, also Reverend uh, Antoinette Piri and uh, uh, Apostle Kautemba Piri for giving me this opportunity and also the leadership for allowing me to stand. This is a very peculiar altar. Gatamuwa Ishiva. Amen. So uh, I'm jealous of this altar. I will explain in a short while why. why. Uh, as watchmen, we move with time. We understand season and times. Right now it's 908. It's the third hour. Since it's a prayer, it's a, it's a time when the heavens are open. And then they remember that the outpouring of the Holy Spirit happened at this time. I just want us to take maybe a minute or so to just pray in the Spirit so that this, your, let the Spirit of God open the channels of your spirit and begin to connect with the Holy Spirit. The, the abundance that is coming your way. So shall, shall we stand and I'll just like the keyboard to just 
na tuimini ne tu pepe mundi mi ababa kapapa hallelujah the holy spirit is here also tu ikatane na mpashwa mshilo this is a lot of prayer chino chipa ilo che pepo riba basu mshika vya ndili hosi kababa rate de hosi kababa bari ke tara hosi kababa ndili hosi we give you praise we connect with you Jesus we connect with you Holy Spirit thank you Holy Spirit thank you Holy Spirit you are welcome Holy Spirit to connect to have the spirit of the Lord is in Jesus name we pray amen. amen you may take your seats hallelujah amen I want us to go to the scripture Galatians chapter 4 Galatians verse chapter 4 to 5 verse 4 to 5 um we we'll walk through scripture and I just want to uh the title of the the teaching in this mentorship service is fullness of time mtuwewambila na tuishibati chebo chani chari tuwa chari kwa tomwewo and father we know that jesus is named the root the root of his name jesus is the word of god hati umushila wakwa yesu chebo chine and it is your word that give us sustenance chebo chenu ichi tupelo umwewo no bumi and the word is alive elo na chikwata umwewo and it is life and it is spirit umwewo elo mupashi we want to thank you for the privilege walking through your word open our hearts that we may receive what you have apportioned for us this day we connect with the covenant of the first day of the week let your light shine upon our hearts Lengeni urubuto lwenu lusanikili pamitima Yesu. Thank you for the new that you've given this congregation. Tata tuleto tela pamuli mo upya umupele kukupyunga kwa Oasis of Love. Legislative assembly. Ababa katanti kabefunde. Father you are using them to change the tide of our nation to from today. Mole babo mfyo kwe bati bachinje mwelesa ifile enda muno chalo chesu. Zambia shall never be the same because of them. Chitwe tachaka bechimochine pamulandu ambiri mu mwapapela. I consider this a privilege the Lord you've chosen me to stand on this altar your altar of grace. Na landa tirishi uko kuri ine uko wati mwansumisha njimire na pali chino chipa ilo mbio wa sena minwa. To be part of the witnesses that we see this nation being turned around. Mbe glory. Mbe kambone pali uyo alamo na ife mwala chunje vintu muno chino chalo kuvuka tawenu. In Jesus name we pray. Mwishina lya mfumo Kristo twapepa. Amen. Amen and amen. So today we are going to the Lord the, the message I have is that this day is your fullness of time. Imbila le sample ya kweba ti kuno bushiku ni nshita ya isula pali imwe. For maybe simple English you would say eventually the time has come. Ngani muchisungu kweba ti nshita mwalelo lela na ifika. It doesn't matter what age your time has come. We lole shapa miyako kwe te wish wa fati nshita na ifika. It's very interesting when you want to get into the mystery of the watchman when Apostle Kautemba God has taken him into the deeper level. So I was like, Lord, 
Let me connect with his spirit. Amen. Amen. I think njikatane no mpashwa ba bomfi benu pano ilio ba umfile kuri imwe munshita tulimo. Because this is a le- your leaders here. Imwe muri pano nge ntungulush. They are not in upon Apostle Gautemba and uh, Reverend Antoinette. Ati ubusubo wa wapari wa shuma pepo ba kalamba kuri imwe na habena miyabo. Is to transform you and place you to where you are supposed to be. Let me just highlight this because I'm standing on this. This is an altar where our Father of the Lord has stood many times. Now, Psalm 139 verse 16. Just want to make and make you understand the, and the oil that flows from here. Therefore, I will look at no I'm after a busubo. I have pongo look up from a palace. No cheap pile. It says, Your eyes saw my substance. At, in, uh-huh, no, go ahead, no, sir. Being yet in form and formed, and in your book, they were they were all were written the days fashioned for me, when as yet there were none of them. At a man, so yan di yam way, a man, so ye no yam when any she. Before I became me, he knew me. Nelo nshila ishibi ko nshila abapo nishina nishiba kalelesa. What does the book about you and I? Lesa di kwate chita wo pari chila muntu pano. So you can imagine how big his library is. Uti mwa elenga nyia ichi 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 ende ya ma buko ya unsi ayo. It is a book about your destiny. So the anointing that is here. And that's why I'm excited to stand here. So say, Lord, this morning open my book. It is my, it is my time. Eventually it has come. It is my time. 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 my books. See in which chapter I'm in. And if you see there's a contradiction of what is written and what is what, what you're seeing in me now. Bring an alignment. There are some of you who are supposed to be representing us at the United Nations. We are not a fan of UN. There are some of us, there are some of you are supposed to be owning minds in here right now. I'm not talking uh, small scale, I'm talking of uh, you are employing the whole world. That's the oil that is here. That is the oil that to move, God who used to bring back the landmarks that were shifted. Let me conclude with this on the oil that is here. Pursue the anointing, don't pursue the person. That's why we miss it. Are you following people? Of God? Follow the oil. Unfortunately, the oil is on a person. <laughs> so respect the oil. So the scriptures will touch concerning Abraham, but we are covered because when we look at Abraham, we think it's just for them. Let me just connect the scriptures in a short while. The Bible reads that if you are Christ, then you are Abraham's seed. 
ati ngoli wako a Kristu ni ishina iwoli lubutolo wako a Abraham. And here's according to the promise. Kapiana ukulinga na nubulae wabapo. You are the partakers of the covenant God entered with Abraham. Ati na imu na mkwatolu badine chipanga no lesa ingi ilemo na Abraham. So which means that there are big things we are supposed to do more than Israel itself. Atifiku lofo tufile tuwa chita pamla andu wa ichupu chila na Israel yine. Hallelujah. Amen. Let me track on 2 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 2. I'm speaking on the fullness and I'm coming to the actual meat of the message. Amen. Amen. 2 Corinthians. 2 Corinthians. Chapter 6 verse 2. Chapter 6 verse 2. For he says, in an acceptable time or favorable time, I have heard you. And in the day of salvation, I have helped you. Now is the accepted time or favorable time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. With the title of fullness of time, you can just say, Now is my time. <laughs> Amen. But you push you up once, they will land up at you know, you know, and stay and now, now. Upon open it to the end, stay and is my time. Alan in stay and is the time for Zambia. Ninstaya Zambia is the time, Lord, for oasis of love. Ninstaya oasis of love. Hallelujah. Amen. It is your time for your bloodline to be to walk in its. It, it, to, to manifest the patterns of heaven. So if some of you are thinking, well, we still have time here. God, God doesn't look at our time the way we look at time. Yeah, we, got, we have a glimpse of that in 2 Peter chapter 3 verse 8. 2 Peter chapter, chapter 3, 3 verse 8. Verse 8. Three verse eight says, "But beloved, do not forget this one thing." That the Lord one day is a thousand years. And a thousand years has one day. If you only spend that thousand years, ena chile mune kwa tibu shiku fiyabumo. Also, when we're worshiping, I was seeing a foyer there, and I was hallelujah, at, and I was like, okay, we was in our church. Amen. And we never had the foyer. But the foundation provided for the foyer. So I'm seeing a foyer there. Alande monecha tanti kuwa. The structure and then it's coming and then there are people and it will be a man to be a way la vare isa vare mona no kukuine to atanti kavare mona. Hallelujah. Amen. Because the time to complete this to the state of the art. Amen. Ati nshita ya kubwiri kisha chino chukulua na isika. Look into that in detail. I'm speaking to you, leaders. Amen. Revelation chapter 10, verse 6 and 7. Revelations chapter 10, verse 6 and 7. Hallelujah. Because I'm, I'm provoking your spirit. Because I'm equally part of what you're doing here. Look, there's an order. Okay, let's go first to Revelation. <laughs> and so by him who lives forever and ever who created heaven and the things that are in it the earth and the things that are in it and the sea and the things that are in it that they should be delayed no longer Amen Ala pa Mwya ya ya Mufinto fya ku apangire kumulu Nefyo fintu fya limo na pesonde Nefintu fya limo na muli wemba Nefintu fya limo kweba tifichelwa Seven. But in the days of the sounding of the seventh angel, when he is about to sound, the mystery of God will be finished as he declared to his servants the prophets. I'll explain this scripture in a short while as we connect with Daniel chapter 9, verse 1 to 2. I'm, I'm teaching your leaders, take note of this. Revelations chapter 10, to conquer Daniel. 
Chapter 9. Chapter 9. Verse 1 and 2. Verse 1 and verse 2. In the first year of Darius, the son of Aseros, of the lineage of the Medes, who was made king over the realm of the Chaldeans. Okay, verse 2 is our key thing. In the first year of his reign, I, Daniel, which is you and I. Look, Hallelujah. Um, let me say something. The Lord spoke to me in Kafanchan a few weeks ago. I was asking, what is my season now? And he said, the few things that happened in our nation and uh, someone very close to us uh, with the theories had passed on, you know, the former secretary to the cabinet. So that was like a big blow to us. And I said, what is my season now? And the Lord, uh, I began to ask the Lord, what is our season? And he says you're going to be a Barnabas in the body of Christ. Hallelujah. Go and encourage the body, my body. But to governments you'll be a Daniel. That is a portfolio you are having also. Presidents who come here, not only our pres Hallelujah. presidents from other nations. I see the one next door coming here. My namesake, Felix Shikedi, His Excellency, you will come here very This is Panopen. Now he will come. Yeah. Hallelujah. So, in by the... I, Daniel, but understood Daniel. by the books of the numbers of the years specified by the word of the Lord through Jeremiah. The, the prophet that he would accomplish 70 years in the desolation of Jerusalem. Now, Luke chapter 24, verse 32. Luke chapter 24. I'm asking the Lord for verse 32. Verse 32. Because this is what's happening now as we are going as we go through scripture. This is these are two disciples on the road to Emmaus. And Jesus them after he has, re he has resurrected from the dead. And, uh, and uh, of course, he, as he broke bread and he disappeared, they, this is the exclamation. They recognized this was Jesus. Then with the, when he was walking with them, he didn't, they didn't re recognize him. And then when they looked at one another, did not our hearts burn within us while he talked with us on the road? And while he opened the scriptures to us. The season of God opening the mysteries about himself through his son has now come. Amen. This is when even Paul when he had an encounter on the road to Damascus. He went blind. But when Ananias went and laid hands on him, scales like fell from his eyes. Which means you will no longer see from his theology and the the ontologies of this world, but now you will see the Messiah himself. It is a season we've entered of the Messiah himself. Now, when we get to Daniel understanding, let's get back to Daniel chapter 9 verse 2. I want to now zero in and then I want to start closing and then tell you about this altar. We are also going into the we are going into the word right now. When Daniel read this book, 
Daniel. He, he was looking at the history. History is very spiritual. Let us learn to know our history. We have our fathers and mothers here who have walked before us. My day, of, the day I came to Kitwe. I started researching about Kitwe. I went through the internet. I downloaded documents. In the night, I was going through the historical documents and business documents. What makes Kitwe Kitwe? Why the name Kitwe? And when was Kitwe founded? And we discovered in 1936. It was just the rail siding. It was just a lay-by for the rail line. And then suddenly there was an explosion. In 1936. And Kitwe is a commercial city for the Copper Belt. Like Lusaka. So there is a characteristic that Kitwe carries. A character. Commercial cities have their own character. They battle in a commercial city in the Okout is so fierce. Yes, you find them in other places, but in a commercial city, eh, the battle is fierce. But you must anger to Buli Wakumu Pashi, Kurushan and Endo, Shimunche, and Demufina Mabetu, Manobu, Kola, and no Nefia Makwebo, Yari Bea Kakatoku Chilapo. So Kitwe is eighty five years as I speak. A good laugh. Kitwe is thirty five years. Eighty five. Eighty five. Eighty five yes. oh. years. 85 means uh, provision, blessings, and also comfort. And you know, 80 for you, watchmen, it's a mouth. It is, it, it's called hay, which means a mouth. And five, as you all know, is the number of grace. So which means from now. Now from this altar. What is pronounced from this altar? Be it an infant. Be it an ancient. Uh, it will manifest before you say amen. It will already have Now what is interesting is Daniel is now going into the history. He realizes, he realizes it's no longer, it's not, the time of being slaves is over. In, in 2019, the history of Africa changed. 400 years had passed when the first slaves had gone into slavery into the, across the Atlantic and even into the Middle East. And God said it, the time for Africa to be set free had come. 2019, 400 years had passed. It is now time for us to begin to receive the plunder of Egypt. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is preparing a Goshen for us. I'll explain Hallelujah. Let's Hallelujah. Goshen. Let's go to Genesis chapter 15. I want you to understand this. We'll Genesis chapter 15. Um, let me give you the scripture, uh, the verse. Just go to Genesis, Genesis chapter 15. 15. Genesis 15. Yeah. And then, um, Genesis 15. It talks about you and I. Amen. Amen. Yes, we start from verse 13. 
verse 13. Genesis 15, verse 13. Now, God enters into a covenant with Abraham. Actually, it was known Abraham then. Abraham. Abraham. And he tells him about a prophecy concerning his seed, that is the, the, the children of Israel who were not yet born. <laughs> so let's include that because remember we looked at Galatians 3.29. We are the seed of Abraham. So let's put ourselves in this one. Now, Mumu ine tu ibi kama muri Genesis 15 verse 13. No certainty that your descendants will be strangers in a land that is not theirs. Ati nkonka ni showe shika ba kuatibe ni munche nde ishiri yabo. Although Africa is our land, amen. Chicha Africa ni munche nde yesu. And we will save them and they will afflict them 400 years. Atibaka bomba kabili baka bachusha pamya ka 400. Let's go to verse 14. Natuli akuli verse 14. And also the nation whom they serve I will judge afterward and they shall come out with what great. Aha. Atine chalo chine cho baka la bomba la mombo baka la bachusha nka ipingu la elo kunu maya ichi baka fuma mo elo baka fuma mo ne chuma. Now let's go to verse 15. Verse 15. And also now as for you, remember now. <laughs> you shall go to your fathers in peace. You shall be buried at a good old age. That was the covenant. And this should be our covenant of dying in peace. And being buried at a good old age. Echo to fide to akabila to wafana utusha. Elo nish na ukulabu ino wino na ufishe miya kayonse. But verse 16 is now my. Emphasis. Then we'll come to the altar. It says, but in the fourth generation they shall return here for the iniquity of the Amorites is not yet complete. Their cup of iniquity is not yet complete. So, the 400 year season has passed for us also. If we, you entire 400 years now, And as Daniel looked in the book, we've also saying, Lord, our time to get great substance to possess our inheritance has come. Daniel, And we're about to see a shaking in this city and also in this nation because the cup of the wicked is now full. Their iniquity is now full. And the That is why people, those that are boasting in their wickedness, their time is up now. Time so, up. so that's the fullness of time I wanted to introduce to you. So go before the Lord and say, what, whatever you maybe a business went bust and the Lord is still inspiring you to continue. Go before the Lord. The time to reset it, to, to start again is now. Everything is Hallelujah. now in place for you to succeed. Now, because I've now established the fullness of time. Now, I want to talk about this altar. God has raised this altar in the north. I think uh, Apostle Kuri, our father, in, uh, who is also our mentor, he would have gone to other places to minister, but why does he always come here, even our mother? Have you ever asked yourself that question? It's Ati. not that they are close to them, but do you know this? Do you know why those people don't just move anyhow? Ati haba fiyashi ba kure na wena miyabo. Pusha mula kwa toku yi, pusha kwe ba tichinshi, chiba pamfyo kwe ba tikukitu wa ba filo ba afika ko. Daba salefe chisele selebena. Let me explain something. I come from an ancient church, altar. Ine na fuma kunkuta ukoko ba tantiki omufula miyaka ne miyaka. Our church started in the 1800s. At you, Kuta, Navako, Church of God in Baby, at the 18th, 18th, 
1886. 1886. We were part of the Azusa revival in 1906. Of course, the innocence of Pentecostalism filtered, but it's been revived again. So, from the age, for those of us who come from those ancient foundations, if we ever form a kuri shemi fula sha, sha kale na kale. We see things differently. We don't just get moved and jump on the bad work when we take our time. Maybe that's the veil the Lord needs to break because uh, we need to connect quickly. We take time and maybe we miss out a lot. So, he in the north of this nation. Because for us, we consider the copper belt north of Lusaka. Look, I'm a person who loves altars. I, I spend time uh, in Lusaka where we are building the National House of Prayer. There are times we spend overnights with even the chaplains. We have women who, the wailing women and other groups that come to pray and we teach them what we are sharing here. And there's a time I made a journey to Nigeria. And I went to sit at the feet of our father in the Lord. We consider him our father in the Lord in the area of the watchman. Amen. And I asked him, what is this about altars? And of course, there were a lot of interested people in government who said, we want to know what is this altar we are building? Cut the long story short, what he shared, I understood something that the altar that Apostle Kure raised in this nation is from here, not Lusaka, but here. Lusaka will take him in hotels, here, 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 here. At least, each or at the Kelenge Chipailoku, Tungu Labafiashi, take Lusaka Nikuno. We don't yet have an altar. In she has raised. He just goes to visit. But this is the altar mm. that he raised. That anointing that is upon that man. Let me show you something. When I went to the first time, when I came back, I had a serious battle in my life. I'm, I'm I was like, I've just come from a place of anointing. Why am I going into this warfare? <laughs> I was a senior pastor and bishop of our church, so I was like, where is this coming from? Then I, rem- I realized that the oil that is upon that man goes into your bloodline. Ingila mumulopa wobe. Kumushila wamulopoko wafuma. And uproots. Ila nukula. The things that would have harmed you in the future. If you have finger ko now la kuntash. There are things that are in our bloodline. Shadi fila lole. They wait for maybe an opportune time to smite you. Akwa diwe fila nda mumulopa yesu. Fila lole la tipari ape ne pole mna kwa tu wala ima epo fia isa kulimona fia kuteka punch. So that's how I realize. This is this this oil deals with stubborn situations. In families, in relationships, in marriages, in finances, in relationships, 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 very something if there is such a word in English. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, this altar represents, now when this was mm. raised, every altar has a specific signature. I want you to 
want you to follow me very carefully. Now this altar is peculiar. Every congregation who have an altar that will give you a certain signature. It could be an altar of praise. It could be an altar of prayer. Like the Sunday Sinyangues, that's just an altar of prayer. They could be an altar of peace. Or oh, an auto of provision. Now this altar. You know, I was like, Lord, this is it. I never saw this. I've been coming here and the Lord says, well, today you are at my altar. So I'll open your eyes also. This altar covers the four. Hallelujah. Amen. It's the only altar God has showed me that covers four, except for the one in Kafanchan. Even my altar in Lusaka, our altar, has just one signature. Hallelujah. Amen. So the altar of praise. Hallelujah. Leave you that homework. Then there's an altar of prayer. This is what this altar is. And four is the number of an altar. So it's an altar of peace. Because when there's upheaval in the nation, when people gather here, there will be peace in the nation. Hallelujah. Now, now to look at the altar of provision. God is building his own Goshen in Egypt. Hallelujah. Goshen is, Goshen. Remember, Goshen is where Israel settled in Egypt. It's like Joseph chose that place. Joseph He knew the land. He traversed through that. He was a prime minister. He was in charge of the land and production. And Goshen means a place of plenty and comfort. And Matthew chapter seven, uh, chapter fourteen, verse thirteen. Matthew seven, verse thirteen and fourteen. Matthew chapter fourteen. Matthew fourteen, verse thirteen. Verse thirteen. Matthew. To, to cut the long story 14, short, verse thirteen. Yeah, it is when Jesus. Let's go. Uh, just take note of. We can start from there. It is when Jesus fed the five thousand. So which means uh, food will not be a problem in our season. Hallelujah. Yeah. Now listen very carefully. Let's go into farming. Thank you, Jesus. COVID-19 was a wake-up call. COVID-19 Were you thinking of building the next house or buying the best car during COVID-19? What was on your mind? Some of you didn't even like vegetables. You ended up now become eating even foods you didn't like because you wanted to stay healthy. Get land. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is bringing partners to partner with Hallelujah. us. Is a great of Hallelujah. The church must have its own farms. When they say you cannot eat because you don't have a card, you will feed us and they will feed them also. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's go to Matthew <laughs> uh, chapter 24, mm, verse 27. Thank you, Jesus. Matthew. I 
I'm talking of the altar of provision. Ati chipa ilo, ichirelo ndolola ifya kubika. Because we are, we, are, we, are, we are finished in this building, so that's why I'm provoking you. Hallelujah. Mm, Lord, we thank you. Uh, I've given you the... Mm. You're saying Matthew? Matthew chapter 17, verse 24 to 27. Matthew 17. Sorry, I, I, I misled you. When they had come to Capernaum, those who received the temple tax came to Peter and said, Does your teacher not pay the temple tax? Verse 25. He said, Yes, and when he had come into the house, Jesus anticipated him, saying, What do you think, Simon? From whom do the kings of the earth take customs or taxes? From their sons or from strangers? Now remember, you are sons. Amen. Amen. Sons speaks of inheritance. Verse 26. Peter said to him, from strangers, Jesus said to him, then the sons are free. But listen to verse 27. Nevertheless, lest we offend them, go to the sea. Mm. The abundance of the sea, the riches of the deep will mm. come to us. Mm. Mm. Now they are coming to us. Amen. We need to train our minds how to handle big money. Not, not to be excited. 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 For men, you want to marry the whole town. Uh-uh. Even change your walking. No, it is for advanced, because the war that is coming, we need finances. The harvest we need to reach needs finances. I was amazed, you know, how these fathers, like, I know they are going into most part of Nigeria. They are flying with helicopters. I like to fly our missionaries <laughs> on helicopters. Not where we take days. No, they go by train. Are we following? Someone said, no, Bishop, we would like you to have a private jet. I said, private jet? Chef, your son. I want to run an airline so that I can have many people jump on that We need to have luxury buses. If you enter that bus, you feel like you are, you, are, you, are, you, are, you are in a hotel. The world has, Egypt has failed to provide such services. It is our time. We need to run our own banks. Someone in our church came with a nice CV. I've been director of a, 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 you know, standard Greenlays. We call it a Greenlays Bank, remember? <laughs> yeah, our fathers will know Greenlays Bank. Mm. Well, I'm you don't know Greenlays Bank. I'm a bank. Uh -huh. And I said, sir, why don't you open your own bank? That's what we're talking about. The Lord was revealing to me that in Kitwe we need to set up a tire factory. As I will talk. To land them, we are importing, importing second hand tires. If I'm accident, you're fully there. I'm a retreads. We'll have, own, we'll have our own brand better than Dunlop. Hallelujah. Look, this is what I'm talking about. Now, let's get back to casting the hook and take the fish that comes up first. And when you have opened its mouth, he did not open the belly. That palace right. He opened the mouth and you will find a piece of money. Take that and give it to them for me and you. What? From, from this altar, financial signs and wonders will start happening. Now listen very carefully. I've been in mission and I thank God of my father and mother who have been in mission. They have our four runners in mission. So they they the, the, how long they've been in the land as missionaries for so many years. I was in this morning and I said, Oh, remember 
Kati mwili saba fiashaba Mi akaba ikere kuria Mavi kushemi Kati nari ingira mumu nchende Ya umishon Ino mba temi akaba senda bena Tata imie niba kafuwa wabu yobu wabu let them see that they let them let them get their interest in investing in your bank. Alekeni ba kwate pone na interest ba kubi kamu chikwa macheno. Hey, send them in a, to a holiday to, of their choice. Lord, you will raise someone. Hallelujah. Mwinye goba mwa ba kwato la kunchende alele ma yokuare tu shafewa dias. Hey, let them enjoy this life of nourishment from this altar. Uku fuma pachi pa elo chapani. Are we following people? Bushe mwe bantu ba kwade somle umva. So what will happen? If you allow chitika, sir, companies will start coming to leave their tithes here. Ba company ba kala leta. If you have, if you have my tithes, if you have kumi, abantu umo. Please, uh, God will give you wisdom. There are people who are in, sitting in some churches. They have been told, come and give an offering. Le sari ba sosha atikatuale ni ichabupe. And that offering, you will be like. Hallelujah. This is to complete everything we want to complete. It will come from this altar. We had the privilege with His Royal Highness Chief Chipepo in 2019 crossing into 2020 crossover in Nigeria. And that's the impartation I want to leave here. We go to Dominion Church that is run by a couple that is very, I, when I see the poet, you know Dr. Poe Eneche, eh? By Eneche? I always, I always tell my wife, we have also our own Enechees in Kitwe. At the photo, I got our Eneche in Kitwe. Hallelujah. Amen. I don't know about, when God takes you through a medical school, God just opens certain dimensions when you become his servant. I think our womb won't feel like we're going to say, I'm 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 going to say, we walked into their sanctuary. It's a hundred thousand seater. Each church have one to engage more hundred thousand. Four services per Sunday. Hello, hundred thousand seater. Bakumane miko four chila Sunday. And I walked in with my father. Na engila mna bata taba chipepo. And we went to the altar. To aya kuchipa ilo chabo. And my father in the Lord, my father was like, Oh, okay. Basa, hey, basa. That's what chipepo. Basa, hat, tata, wow. And they said it was not from outside. At Chuma Chamu, Nigeria, the Chakuse. So I went and stood at the altar. To aya pa ya pe ne pa chi pa ilo. I said, Lord, we receive this. At ah, when I photo apoka ko bubusu. I will go and dispense it wherever God wants. To fude to atuala, oko tule ya na ifwe. So Lord, we release this, this that same grace they have here at this altar. Udi oko sena minwa kuri ya kuise pano. Now let me provoke you more. Before the, there was a time they really struggled to. They, they've got a very strange roof, you know. Their roof is very unique. That's why they, call it the dome. they call it the dome. They had to call the dome. Ah, he just came. Uh, what big masquerade came. Ah, he just declared things. And they completed. Now this same man who the whole world calls him to go and open stubborn gates, they, he came and raised an altar in Zambia from here. You have no excuse. Me have come to tap. And even make me stand here. Watch my space. Oh, just watch my space. So when, he made, when I was in Kafanchi, he says, you are coming to minister here. I said, hey, Lord, really? I'm going to go to the minister. I'm going to go to the minister. I'm going to go to the minister. Some of you now, you are like, oh, that's why she is here. But I'm going to go to the minister. Isaiah chapter 25, verse 7, and we are going to now pray. Isaiah 25, verse 7, and we are going to close. And we are going to close. Isaiah chapter 25, verse 6 says, on this, let's start with verse 6. I, Daddy likes this scripture and I've learned. What I've come to, my prayer has been, even to uh, our senior pastor and the pastoral team here. 
ati kuri imwe bakalamba balu kutaluno na imwe bonse nga barashima pepo that I, sh- i want to remain a witness so when god is speaking to you i want to be a witness so i'll say i'll just go apostle mom to say you know what the lord is saying and they will say oh yeah this is a confirmation ati ndefo ko baka mbone mufyo lesa ku la chita nga natu mafoni I want to be a witness of this altar. That's a prayer I prayed even when I went to Kapa. I said, Lord, I want to be a witness to Daddy Kure. There are things I will go through. Read scripture. And and then then it it and I will be telling my wife, hey, look at this. There's a time I told him, God is saying we build our Goshen. He says, hey, you are in the spirit. Hallelujah. That's why I said in my beginning remarks, I am jealous of this altar. I said in my beginning remarks, I am jealous of this altar. For me, I'm now giving you my heart. For me, I'm now giving you my heart. If I come here and I find you abusing this water, I will deal with you. And be, I'm very soft-spoken, but when I go on the other side, you will not like me. Those in the pastoral team, some of you are supposed to go and open bigger, bigger, mega churches. Learn to connect to the oil. This altar is speaking for Zambia. Are we following people of God? So this is also my altar. Amen. So verse 6 says, in, the, in this mountain, this is Mount Zion. Uh, let's read this scripture together so that the word of God because faith mm. comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Let's, let's, let's read this together. In this mountain. In this mountain, the Lord of hosts will make for all people a feast of choice pieces, a feast of wines on the lees, of fat things full of marrow, of well-refined wines on the lees. You know, that's an, an English word of saying you will enjoy life, you will have the best of the land. But what has been preventing that? Verse 7. And you will destroy on this same mountain. The surface of the coverings of all the witchcraft, all the false doctrines, all mm. the orientations, even Alleluia. the strange hands people laid on us without us knowing all mm. the, the curses, the spells from our bloodlines, mm. he would destroy that covering. Over all people. And the veil that is spread over all nations. So, on this mountain, the Lord says, as you stand here, my son, I'm destroying the veils over Kitwe. Do you know that Kitwe has more money than Lusaka? Do you, do you spend spend your your money? Money? How are we following people? Of now, Kitwe is a head. Kitwe, Mutwe. They discovered a skull of an elephant. And it's like they were amazed. Which means elephants were not common in that area. And they, and they found it near a river. Now, Many of these religions and secret societies, they get these revelations from us. You know that an elephant, uh, even the Hindus, the, the god of money has a head of an elephant. Now, 
this, this is my perception. It's not from the word of God. Hallelujah. Amen. The, the Bible says you will be the head, not the tail. You shall, you shall learn to many. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And borrow from none. So, this covering that God is destroying in Kitwe and over Zambia. Will now let us free. Yesterday we were with Sam, we went to the north and southern gates to open the gates for the wealth to come into Kitwe. What I just didn't tell him that we are going to complete it here. When the gas started in Chingola, we drove from Lusaka. They know, and now I'll reveal to you, and we went and shut the gates from Lusaka, and we brought the soil. And she was there and some stones, and we declared the problem, and blew the shofar, and left for Lusaka, and said, expose them. We had to use this altar. So when I talk about this altar, I'm not speaking just, we, we've, we've proved what it has done. Shall we stand? Hallelujah. Uh, Maybe permission from my husband. Yes. I want to confirm the word. All right. Okay, continue. All right. Amen. Oh, I can go ahead? Okay. She's also my witness. <laughs> <laughs> On Friday, I sat with three ladies mm. in this ministry. And I asked them, what is on daddy's heart? The answer was hospitality. Mm. So when daddy said here, I want you to praise and worship. I want you to follow this. So when they said hospitality, I said, isn't it, is it a coincidence that my daddy pano baby that's to lay a restaurant? Mm. 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 And what was the last thing Jesus did? when he was going to the cross, the very last supper. Mm -hmm. It was on this altar that the set man of this house ushered the cooperatives. What are cooperatives about? Mm. Farming. We have a seventh president, 57th year of Zambia's Jubilee, and Daddy here taught even into COVID about how we needed to be in the house. But most importantly, if you remember what he taught about Joseph, Ngatamwa Kwata, Ibu land and its value. Pick it up. This is the time to read that book. So I want to confirm the Goshen man of God Amen. is manifesting. So here, from today. So as we pray, to a teacher fimba pandu pashenu. Today, there are they are veils that the colonial masters left, our it, ancestors left. Awa ba fi koro efiye so ba kale kabili na ba ba colonial master aba fio vasha. In my research over the mining towns, uh, they gave examples of Zambia and Canada. A tiro na lelo leke shapa di fifi alimbwa na sangu kwe ba ti migo disha Zambia na Canada. I wanted to know the spirit behind. What cause? Why? What? They have similar. They had similar problems spiritually. They That's why we are all of 
fair which is welfare. I mean, I'm a beneficiary of that. I'm a beneficiary of that. I'm a beneficiary of that. People lost their footing. They never taught us how to serve. The kingdom of God speaks of saving money. They even brought in a system where they will pay your salary twice a month because we because of the spending habit of they never told us how to invest. Even now, those that want to help Zambia, they, they want to teach us how to go back into debt, not how to come out of debt. Na bobe never invest, but if I do ingi remufi anko ngole, but if I go to Zambia, they show you that you can't even so God is about to change the ancient landmarks were moved so God is using this water to to put the ancient landmarks back in place. And by the way the Jews also started Kitwe. I didn't know that. Like Lusaka. That's why the Jews in Lusaka said money in Lusaka will never be a problem. For us, we are going to declare in the kingdom of God from this sort of provision. Money will not be a problem in the kingdom of God. I want you to get it. I want this bell to be removed. I'm following people of God. As we pray this prayer, and I'll allow, I'll ask, because I'm now done, I'll ask the apostle to come, because this needs his grace now. I've, I've opened the gates. I've, I've activated this, this altar to represent the four. Praise, prayer, what was the third? Provision. And the fourth? Oh, third was peace. peace uh -huh, provision, provision as the fourth. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. Well, this is the time, Sam, you must uh, buy your four by four to finish your prophetic acts. Uh, I'm not going to This ministry, by the way, when you were talking about hospitality, I, uh, <laughs> I was laughing in my spirit to say, hey, we need to have, you are going to have industrial cookers. Dish washing machines. Amen. Amen. You are going to take over some more land because you, have to, you are going to build a hotel. Like a Someone is going to give you. They, you will buy these properties. You are, you, are, you are going to build a hotel. Hallelujah. Can it happen? Hey, the oil that the, the person, hey, the oil that is flowing from here. My father. Thank you for bringing me here. Tatana, to tell a papa that a parish no cheap pile. Including me opening my eyes. Na ine wina mo anti sulana menso. I will tell my siblings, my friends, and my sisters. Hey, we've been sleeping there. That is the altar. By the way, when mommy comes. Hey, we'll bring busloads of women here. Hallelujah. Hey. Thank you, I Jesus. I will rebuke them. Thank you for confirming. Thank you for confirming. Kawe and Livingstone will come and overshadow Banamayo Kuno. So um, watch this space. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Are we following? That is why that hotel needs to be built. So that I saw some of those street kids there. Hey, I saw some of pilots. Doctors, lawyers. Let me end here. Sir, so you may come and uh, take us through that prayer. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Needed. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Let me just say this. Particularly, I, I, I know my, my pastors 
are anxious to rush to their churches. But there's a word the Lord gave me as he ministered, which I want to declare, and you pray it. This is, this is the word from, from 2 Kings chapter 8. 2 Kings chapter 8. Verse number 3. Verse 3. It came to pass at the end of seven years that the woman returned from the land of the Philistines. And she went to make an appeal to the king for her house and for her land. The Lord is, is telling me that for, for many of us, the cycle of lack, the cycle of poverty, the cycle Jesus. of struggle has come to an end. Every seven, seven is the end of the cycle. And the Bible says that the woman returns. The Lord is telling me to tell you that for many of you, you have been struggling to get resources and finances from the Philistine world, from the worldly angle. You know, the worldly way of doing business. You have depended on your salary. You have depended on others. But the Lord is saying today, as this word has come, you will make an appeal to the king. <laughs> now, I'm not talking about the president, etc. I'm talking about the king of kings. But look at this. In this case, he's talking about a physical king. Look at what happened. Then the king talked with Gehazi, the servant of the man of God, saying, Tell me, please, all the great things Elisha has done. Now, because of time, or maybe let me just read verse 5. Verse 5. It says, Now it happened, as he was telling the king how he had restored the dead to life, that there was the woman whose son he had restored to life appealing to the king for her house and her land somebody, somebody say house and land Somebody say house and land. House talks of shelter, protection, the place of rest. Land talks of provision, talks of feeding, talks of the place of increase. So, everyone say house and land. Say it once again. House and land. Let me finish uh, quickly. I'm just obeying what the Spirit of God told me that we are going to pray. Uh, a quick prayer and it will come to pass. Hallelujah. Now look at this. Verse number 6. And when the king asked the woman, she told him. So, what did she say? She, she told him what she wanted. Today, from this altar, don't limit God. Tell the Lord what you want. Listen to me. Don't limit him based on your Philistine experience. In other words, because you have struggled so much, you are asking for so little. Just a little house, Lord, is in is 
enough. No. You have, you have left the Philistine world even in your mind. Look, look at Jehovah Jireh. Ask, ask him beyond your natural mind. And the Lord is telling me to tell you that he will appoint an officer for you. Saying, restore. Somebody say, restore. Say it once again, restore. Restore all that was hers. From all the proceeds of the field. From the day that she left the land until now. Somebody say, restore. It means that from the time you were born, all that was meant to be yours, not only the land and the house, but everything you were supposed to make, everything you were supposed to build, the companies that you are supposed to have had, the houses you are supposed to have had, heaven is sending angels to ensure that they are all restored to you. Somebody say restore. Lift up your right hand and say, my father, my father. Say, my father, my father. I come to you as I am. I cry to you from this altar. I, re I receive my word for my season. I receive my word the fullness of time has come upon me today I make up my mind I change my mind I will not look to the world I look to you my father from this altar restore Restore. Restore. Restore to me my houses and my land. Restore all my proceeds from the time I was born. Restore finances. Restore wealth. Restore health. Restore provisions in, in the name of Jesus. If you believe in let me hear a loud amen. Listen to me. I wanted to show you a WhatsApp, but because of time. We got a WhatsApp. I posted it on the page for 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 them for the ministry. How, how do you know what God is saying? Many people will declare it. That's what Psalm 68 says. It, it, says, says, it says, The Lord spoke and many uh, declared it. Now, some of the people who declare it are not pastors. But just people whom the Lord is using. Those of you who you saw this post, and I'm trying to, I want you to see it for yourself. And I posted and I said we will do exactly what this posting says. Hope I, hope I, hope I can find it. Who's, who's on the Oasis of Love uh, WhatsApp? No, it's on the Oasis of Love. Uh, Oasis of Love WhatsApp. Okay, here it is. Now, uh, look at this. This is what came. From a newspaper clip. 
H H that's haka in the hitting them I have it it's a newspaper clip direct ministries government ministries to give christian bodies and churches land for agriculture mining hallelujah thank you jesus i thought you would you would <laughs> The Bible says the heart of the king is in the hands of the Lord. What this means is that favor has come for churches to go and get land. And I told the team that we are going for it. So there's going to be land not just for the whole church but for each individual. Every one of you here, you must have your own land. And you must have your own house. Somebody say land and the house. You are receiving it in the name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. And our, amen. Our time is gone. We can't continue. Hallelujah. Amen. But just say, Father, thank you. For my portion, Pachandi. I've received it today, and I will go with it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And amen. amen. And amen. And give the Lord Hallelujah. The Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. I'm so happy that you could be that you've been watching this program and uh, I want to say that God has been so good to us he's given us the ability to go on air but I want you to know that it does cost quite a bit for us to be on air and we need strategic partners people who can sow seed into into the ministry and it's going directly into the television production and programs so that you can enjoy this program so that you can uh, bring healing to others. Remember, when you sow seed into this ministry, you are not just uh, affecting uh, a few people, you are affecting many people across this globe. This program is going across different nations and uh, we want it to stay on, on air. So please sow a generous seed. The account numbers are there or you can go to our website. And I want to say this, that without Jesus, you know there is no life jesus is our life and if you are watching this program and you have never given your life to jesus this is the this is the best opportunity for you to give your life to jesus i want you to just say this prayer after me just say dear lord jesus yes just say just say dear lord jesus i come to you just as i am forgive me for my sins wash me in your blood i open my heart come into my heart Come into my life. I surrender to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, Amen. If you have prayed that prayer, I want you to know that you are now a child of God. You need to find a good Bible uh, believing church. Well, this has been Apostle Dr. Kautemba Piri saying, May the Lord bless you and may the Lord keep you in this season. As you go, go blessed in Jesus' name. Shalom, shalom.